you mentioned it, terrorism being one of the biggest stories of the year. Um, you know, as a journalist, I look at you, Kellyanne, as one of the biggest stories of the year coming out of 2016. I mean, you've, you've been historic in so many ways. You're the first woman to run a Republican presidential campaign. You are the first woman to lead a winning presidential campaign in the history of our nation. I mean, these are, these are really big boundaries that you've crossed. You're also the mother of four. <laughs> I don't know how you did it. I, I know you've been asked before about your role in the administration, and you haven't answered that question directly. And I was just wondering if you could describe to our viewers, what, what do you see for yourself in 2017? How do you see your service continuing not only to President-elect Trump, but also to our country? Jennifer, thank you very much for saying that. It's very humbling. I really don't like to talk about myself, but I, I appreciate you saying that. And I'm struck by how many women of all ages, particularly the younger women, will approach me in airports or on the street, um, certainly by emails and phone calls, and just tell me what an inspiration. Thanks for being there at the highest level. And I quickly remind them that we had an amazing team. It certainly wasn't just me. And it really began with Donald Trump. He put me in that role. And people should always remember it took Donald J. Trump and Mike Pence to put me in that role. Um, and that's, that's, that's something that Donald Trump has been doing forever at his corporation, in his campaign, and now in his cabinet. Um, for me, I, my family is going to move to Washington, D.C., and I will either stay outside and run the political superstructure, or I will go into the West Wing and take a position right next to the president where, where I feel like I can serve him in the way I advise him off camera, which is most of the advice and counsel I give is off camera, not on camera, um, certainly most of my role here. And so he and I have discussed that, including this weekend. And I just want to find my best and highest use. You know, the political superstructure on the outside is incredibly important, whether I run it or not, because we want to make sure those 10 Democratic senators who are up for re-election in 2018, Janet, in states where Donald Trump just won. Can I pause you, Kelly? And this is just unfortunate yeah. because I have a commercial, but I, ha I want to no, let please. because we're learning something from you that you're moving to Washington D.C. And I have a quick follow-up question, but I have to take the commercial, otherwise we're going to get cut no off, problem. and that's embarrassing. I'll wait for you, <laughs> Kelly. And thank you. We'll be right back with Kelly and Conway in a moment. Back now with President-elect Trump, senior advisor Kellyanne Conway, as we mentioned, a historic figure in this election, first woman to lead a winning presidential campaign. And you just made a little news with us, Kellyanne, saying that you're going to move with your family to Washington, D.C., the role yet to be determined. And you spoke with President-elect Trump this weekend about some of the specifics. What can you share with us about the specifics? And what more can you tell our viewers about the, the superstructure, as you call it, outside the White House that you think also needs attention as you look forward to 2017? Well, that political superstructure, Jenna, goes on with or without me, certainly. There are perfectly qualified people to run it and to be a part of it. It's really important because, and it's also existed, it's not unprecedented. I mean, David Plouffe went out and, and started the Organizing for America that then became Organizing for Action for President Obama, trying to push through Obamacare and some other things that he wanted. Um, if you read the New York Times article this morning by Jonathan Martin, where I'm quoted, it's very clear that the political left is already fomenting this permanent opposition trying to discredit and delegitimize what obviously is the election solidified yesterday by, by the electors. Uh, they're trying to stop him at every turn, deny his cabinet picks, deny his legislation. So we need to be on offense and defense. And we also need to look at 2018 ultimately, hmm. where President Trump can get up to 60, 61 Senate seats. You have the Democrats defending 25 seats, 10 of which are held by Democratic senators in states that President Trump just won, and a handful of others that he almost won. And so we want to make sure they know where we are all the time. President Bush pushed through his tax plan in June of 2001 with the Democratic Senate because many of those senators in 2001 who were up for re-election the following year voted for the Bush tax relief plan. Hmm. They know what their constituents want. You know, that's interesting. So it's the so, same idea here. So the headline is Kellyanne Conway is here to stay <laughs> with Donald Trump. Uh, uh, no question. No question. That's, that's correct. And that's correct. And I, I feel like I have the two most important qualities for anybody to do his or her job well, which is I have the president-elect's trust and I have his ear. And it really is, he's very persuasive in terms of where my highest and best use is, as is Vice President-elect Pence, who I've been close to and work with for a decade, Jenna. So um, I feel like I can't lose, and I feel very bound to serve the country in whatever position, um, because it's not about me. When you're at this level and you, you spend time with the President and the Vice President-elect, you realize it's very humbling. The gravity and the responsibility that they have on behalf of this nation is humbling. And if I can do my small part to, um, to make it easier for them or to put into effect these many ambitious policies that they've promised and put forward, then um, I will answer that call. 
Well, we look forward to continuing the conversation, both on the policy side, but also on the personal side as well, as we look to learn more about you, Kellyanne, and, and we appreciate your time on this program. Uh, Thank Merry you, Christmas, Jenna. Happy New Year, and good luck house Merry hunting. Merry Christmas to you right? and your family. Washington, you got made it. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> that's a whole new, that's going to take a whole new strategy. Uh, best of luck, yeah. Kellyanne. Thank you. Hey, if you like this video, consider giving me a thumbs up, sharing, or subscribing. It really motivates me to make more videos, and it really helps to get the word out there. I appreciate it. Thank you so much.